So what's up with all the serial killers being related? Well, I got your answer. You'll find that a lot of them share one common ancestor. There'll be pools of them to that one ancestor. Check this out. In Exodus 20, you find, it says, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images or any likeness of any things about whatever, in heaven, above, and below the earth. Anyway, but then you see, Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, referring to other gods, huh? nor serve them, for I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me as in the ones that were serving other gods, okay? Now, if your ancestors are coming into agreement with these demons, selling their soul to Satan, then they, the demons have a legal right to travel in the bloodline for three to four generations until the curse is broken. If it is not, and somebody is not obeying God at that point, then it perpetuates and the demons can continue to travel down until it ends. Because you see, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. So why aren't there more serial killers out there? Serial killers do still have to come into agreement with the demons, but they have easier access to them when they're traveling in the bloodlines. And that, my dearest sins of the Father.